what do you think where structural coloration can be applied? Well, the first thing that comes to my mind may be clothing or art. Yeah, it seems essential and actually true. So this way one uh, artist, uh, Kate Nichols, she wanted to use iridescent structural color in her artworks, but there was no such pigment. And so she decided to turn to Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, asking permission to manufacture their um, nanoparticles that can produce this structural color. And now she successfully uses this phenomenon in her um, uh, artworks. Another attempt uh, using structural color was made uh, in Japan. Uh, there was one company manufacturing textile uh, called after uh, Morpho Butterfly, Morphotex, and they even made some clothing uh, from this textile. However, this business was unsuccessful and was shut down in 2011. I know one more application attempt. Displays. Displays? Yeah, like displays for the smartphone, of the, for the e-books, like mirrors old displays. You know, the e trademark is that they utilize interference or diffraction waves to create uh, to create the color and um, generally the main advantage of them is that they're visible in the sunlight mm -hmm. however they're still not used in the mainstream because of some other issues okay maybe any success for example do you know yes at least one for example paint chromofluor which has a lot of other names which is used to, to paint cars which can change color depending on the watching angle and on the light. Actually, the same principles on the, of the interference and diffraction are used here. It, it can be applied practically anywhere, for example, in the electric guitars. You know what? Now I think I want to uh, paint my bicycle with this structural color. Mm -hmm.